this group of chemicals has significant anti-tumor properties. Now, cannabinoids kill cancer cells in many cases. If they have anti-tumoral effects. There's nothing else that impacts on so many of our illnesses. We know that it kills cancer cells without hurting the non-transformed cells. In recent years, the hemp plant has been proven to be anti-inflammatory, antispasmodic, and antibacterial. It can treat depression, traumatic stress syndrome, chronic pain, glaucoma, migraines, multiple sclerosis, Tourette's, nausea, and a host of other ailments without the unwanted side effects of pharmaceutical drugs. In the 1800s, medical journals published more than 100 articles on the therapeutic use of the drug, then known as cannabis indica, or Indian hemp. Cannabis was often prescribed by doctors and was part of every medical bag right through the early part of the century. It was a popular treatment for labor pains, asthma, rheumatism, and nervous disorders. It was even given to cranky babies to get them to stop crying. Dozens of major studies have been published in the last few years that indicate that the chemicals in cannabis, in the lab and in animals, have a significant effect on fighting almost all major cancers, including brain, breast, prostate, lung, thyroid, colon, skin, pituitary, melanoma, and leukemia cancers. They do this by promoting the death of cancer cells that have forgotten how to die, as well as a reduction in their crucial blood supply while leaving healthy cells untouched. There's nothing else that impacts on so many of our illnesses. You see, when I talk about these age-related illnesses, we're all aging, but we don't all come down with cardiovascular disease. We don't all come down with autoimmune disease. We don't all come down with cognitive dysfunction. We don't all come down with cancer but the chances are we're gonna come down with one of them, all right? And here we have this one drug that's able to help us holistically with our biochemistry to restore balance. You know, cannabinoids kill cancer cells in many cases. People are not aware of that. They think cancer, cannabis, anti-nausea. Seth Research Laboratories in California have recently demonstrated that in some tumors, cancer cells are killed by marijuana, while the other healthy cells are left untouched. Cells that stop moving and become still white dots are dead cancer cells.